Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Halo 3 ODST. Last time, Mickey drove a tank through downtown and made a huge mess. Uh, but then he met up with Dutch at the Oni building. Uh, and luckily, since the clue, the Goss turret, uh, was along Mickey's path, uh, we know exactly how to get to the Oni building from here. And that's where we're going to go to find our next clue. That was some badass uh, tank driving. Yeah, that was a good time. And uh, yeah, look at look at all this mess. Yeah, <laughs> it's not good. Yeah, that's cool though. Nice touch that it leaves it for you when you turn around. Yeah. Now, uh, off to the left there, that's actually the way Mickey went. Mickey and Dutch, for that matter. Uh, we're going to take a little bit of a detour, although the superintendent's a little pushy. <laughs> no. Mm. Did, did you hear that? Accurate diagnosis or your money back? Yes. <laughs> Let's just talk about this for a second, where <laughs> there's no universal health care <laughs> in the future. No, they just have, uh, you know, AI-driven... Booth. What if that's just the convenience fee for going to a booth? Uh, okay. Maybe uh, two, that's universal a healthcare system. Is yeah, that universal is. healthcare is there, but you know, it's a four-year wait to see a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it's and it's on a different planet. That your doctor yeah, is yeah. out of network. Mm, oh jeez, this is <laughs> out of galaxy. <laughs> um, there's hunters in our way. Uh, so oh, I didn't even notice that. I was too busy talking riffing about on uh, healthcare. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we're just going to take a little bit of a detour uh, to look for something that's going to help us fight them. What do we got? Uh, more dead elites. And a haunted ticket booth. Uh, neither of those things is going to help us. feel bamboozled oh no we're we just gotta look around a bit there's all sorts of stuff lying around this city you just have to look hard enough there we go just Fire drive this truck into them i mean that that would probably work or, or that <laughs> no come on fire grenades they kill everything in one hit right yeah they're crazy mm -hmm. yeah so we'll just we'll just go burn some worms But can you kill both with one grenade? Uh, you can't even kill one with one grenade. Um, Ooh. It turns I out I'm angry. Yeah, it turns out I was wrong. The uh, the fire grenades don't really do anything to hunters. That's oh. very funny. Not good. No, this is bad. This is bad can news. Can you just like run until they forget you're a thing? Uh, you can do that. Yeah. I don't remember if they, they had like a leash in this game. Like, I think the, um, those big blast doors you open up, I'm pretty sure they are, like, in between zones and enemies can't actually cross them. So if we wanted to, we could just retreat through a doorway. Or we can waste all our ammo killing them. Also there good. you go. There's actually one other thing I wanted to show off in this, on this little detour. It's it's not. I was positive oh, you were gonna find a, a rocket launcher, but oh no, I, I wonder if there is one near here actually. Uh, no, and it's not actually what the superintendent is leading us to either, which is that payphone. Uh, but over here, uh, this is Buck's Pod. So, hmm. like Mickey's level, uh, is a place we can revisit, and so's Buck's. It's not all always true, but. Uh, yeah, I just think that's so cool that you can just go find his landing spot again. Yeah, that is nifty. You're not answering that phone? No. It's probably a spam call anyway. <laughs> Student I, loans. I think we made that joke in the first video, actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I 
Nice little engineer. We'll leave him alone. That's what you said about the last ones. I did say that about the last ones. You have a pro-engineering bias. I, that's true. But I think you also killed most of the last ones in the end anyways. So, yeah, I mean, I didn't kill them. But they did die. But, I mean, that's not that's not my fault. War is hell. That's right. Whoa! Nice Holy! <laughs> oh, the pistol's so good. John so this, Wick over here. Sorry, this is where things are going to get tough because the engineer is giving them overshields. So if I don't want to kill the engineer, I kind of have to deal with that. Um, the nice thing is that the the shields only work at a certain radius, so you can sort of tempt enemies away, and they lose their shields. He's invisible, right? Yeah, so that's a stealth brute. Yeah. Uh, Is this could... the first one you've encountered? Uh, in this game, probably, but they were in Halo 3. Yeah. Uh, the nice thing, the noob combo uh, works against overshields as well, so you can just do that. Hit. <laughs> But the unfortunate thing, um, it didn't really help the engineer. Rip. They have a kill switch. Yeah. In any case, uh, these are the the blast doors here that we saw Mickey and Dutch go through. So we're we got to be pretty close to to our next clue. <laughs> Let me in. Man, the Ricky's going to have some great stories to tell the guys when they finally meet up. Yeah. Absolutely. I killed two hunters. <laughs> And picked up all sure the trash. Did, <laughs> yeah, sure you did, Rocky. Yeah, sure you did. Do you know fire grenades don't work on them? What are fire grenades? <laughs> Have I used Wait, them? they are covenant tech, right? Yeah. Yeah, they're brute. Brute stuff. And, uh, oh. Uh, it looks like they made even more of a mess here. Don't look good. Wait, are we back in the zoo? No. No, this is the uh, the Oni building. This whole compound right. is like Office of Naval Rubble. Intelligence. Yeah, well, that too. And here's our clue, which it makes a lot of sense considering the way we found this building. my guess, but this ain't a job you want to rush. that do it? Signal's good. Arm the other detonators and pull back to me. Come on, tough guy. We got to blow this bridge. Duck, arm the other charges. What about those rays? Forget about them, we got explosives to set. Follow me, arm the charges. Grab your drawers. Okay, I really Intense. like this. Sir, what? Yeah. What do you say? This is just intense. Oh I'm yeah. Like, I'm I'm leveling it too. I'm actually, you know, this is like a strategic war thing like a lot of times you just go in somewhere and kill everybody but this is like 
like an actual objective. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I completely agree with you. This whole level has that same feel, like you're actually doing something. That's the last one, Dutch! This is not going Everyone behind those barriers! Bridge is set to blow! Come on, Super, unlock the key pad! Keep it clean, respect public property. If you don't let us trigger those charges, in about five minutes, your data center is gonna be crawling with Covenant! About damn time! Do it, Trooper! Bridge toll accepted. Have a pleasant trip. Bridge toll accepted. Ah, <laughs> oh, the superintendent's so funny. Hmm. Um, I do have to point something out here. I was wrong about us never getting to use Goss turrets. Uh, they're just kind of rare. Can you hijack vehicles in this game? You can, um, but there's some limitations. Uh, it's been pointed out in the thread that, like, you can't drive wraiths, for example. Um, the game actually just destroys them if you try, like, if you kill the driver, the wraith just dies. Interesting. Hmm. I think they've disallowed hijacking banshees in most levels. But, uh, there that are... Makes sense. There are a couple exceptions. I did see you try there. Yes. Yeah, I was trying. <laughs> I never got close enough to actually try it um, but also uh, talk about buildings with threatening auras look Hell at this yeah. place is that mecha too Oof. what that's, hmm? that's a good joke I like it that's not uh, controversial no no I was saying that about getting hit so. by the fuel rod I don't even oh. understand the joke oh, bigger like, better longer in uh, Saudi Arabia there's like a big cube uh, that's yeah. important to Islam Okay. And everyone like do you not oh, people um, do the pilgrimage and then they walk around it and like lots and lots of people. Okay, now I've yeah. heard of that. I just I guess I yeah. don't know what the building looks like. It's yeah, it's like a big black, black cube, which is just one of the most badass religious structures okay. in the world. I'm gonna have to look yeah. that up. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Wait, what direction are you pointing your prayer map map? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, you have to walk around it in a certain direction hmm. and my, my friend went and was like yeah if you don't mind taking all day you can do the outside and walk along the walls but if you want to do the inside you have to be careful because if you slip no one's stopping yeah oh jeez oh, geez. yeah there was like, like a big good work. um issue with like people walking down the street and two groups running into each other and having a crush oh. um, mm -hmm. horrifying yeah it's yeah it's especially like when they're I don't know, like, the time of year that everyone goes, but it's nuts. Very cool. Uh, sorry, going back, uh, again, this is just one of those times where it feels like you're sort of doing something legitimate. So, like, <laughs> you got this whole, like, defense set up and hold the line against the invaders. I like it. Yeah. That guy was using that palm tree pretty effectively. Mm-hmm. It does seem like they do it on purpose sometimes. Oh, this yeah. Sucks. This sucks. <laughs> That'd be me in war. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I don't like this, guys. <laughs> <laughs> These field rations aren't vegan. Yeah, they aren't. Actually, I mean, uh, they... Some modern armies do have uh, vegan rations, by the way. Yeah. Don't know how much real food how, is in them either. Like, in general. They have to have a certain nutritional value. I wonder if you get more food in the vegan ones to make up for the nutrition. Mm. Or it's just like textured vegetable protein. Yeah. <laughs> like, like one bar of nutrient-dense soy. <laughs> yeah. Mm. So good. That does sound good. <laughs> I do remember TVP. Jeez. That's... There's, There's a lot better at making it. 
Yeah, I don't think you can um, actually hold out in this section. Like, I think they will just continuously spawn more and more enemies. There's your secret rocket hey. launcher. There we go. Tactical retreat here. Yeah. Inside the creepy building. Hurry up, man. Check those charges. Wait, what? More explosives? Yeah, what gives? I thought we were supposed to protect this building. I have orders to deny enemy access to all classified data housed in this facility. You don't like it, jump your butts back into orbit. Only thing I don't like is that our butts are currently inside this facility. They're cutting through the door. Saddle down, people. Find some cover. Someone man that turret. All right, here they come. Watch your crossfire. I thought that was SJ for a sec. Right. Hmm? I thought that was Sergeant Johnson for a sec. Oh, yeah. I think it's the guy who does Sergeant Stacker's voice. I'm pretty sure. Mm. And that Marine was talking back to him quite a bit. Yeah. That was Mickey. Right, Mickey. Jump your ass back into orbit. Mm -hmm. I, it's not a practical solution. <laughs> I mean, if you could do it, it'd be a good way to, you know, escape the fighting, I guess. <laughs> Super bounce your way back into orbit. <laughs> The, yeah, telebump. I don't know why. Um, there is a, well, a moon in Kerbal Space Program where you can actually jump into orbit. I love it! Uh, because it has such low gravity. <laughs> That's do you do fun. that? Like, you don't use a land, like a lunar lander? I mean, you should. <laughs> but if you go there and land, you can actually, like, jump and use your little jetpack. Um, thing and end up in orbit. <laughs> Which is fun. Which moon is it? Is it one of Jupiter's? Oh, uh, no. Uh, actually, yes. <laughs> I don't know. I've never been there in the game. I've, I've only ever gone as far as the, um, well, the series equivalent. Which actually I have videos of on my channel. Huh. Holler. Yeah. We'll put a There's... link in the, uh, down below. We won't. We'll no, overlay we won't. a giant <laughs> image of it over this part of the video, so you have to click it to see the rest of the video. I'll, I'll just cut it here and put the whole, the whole four videos in. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Breaking the YouTube meta. There you go. Phantom dropping reinforcements, cover your rear trooper! <laughs> this part seems a lot easier than... It is, kind of. other parts are so intense. And, and again, I, I like the way we've switched into, like, asset denial mode, where we're gonna just blow up the building. Um, but it, it always strikes me that we go through all this trouble of, like, defending the front entrance, and they just drop guys in the back door. You know? Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh... It slows them, though. It does. It just, like, it feels like maybe they should have just dropped all their troops here. In the first place. Yeah, but how would they know that if they didn't expend many lives trying to get in the front first? Hmm. They're also, uh, led by brutes who aren't always the brightest. Mm-hmm. Oh, man, that's the way it's done! I bet the Marines are loving this. Don't they hate Oni? Uh, yeah. Typically not get along with Oni, I should say. They distrust them, yeah. Exactly. Oni spooks. Uh, speaking of which, uh, there's a cool thing here, like a memorial board with names. Um, and there are some Easter egg names in there from, like, extended canon stuff, uh, but I don't really know them. Uh, but there's a couple here I wanted to point out. Uh, Admiral Cole, who the Cole Protocol is named after. Uh. Um, talk about how he led the five-year campaign to retake Harvest, which was the first uh, planet the Covenant destroyed. Come on, Dutch, we're 
Uh, Vice Admiral Stanforth uh, is a character from the books. He was like the head of the R&D section. Um, what's really funny is at the bottom where it says that he resigned to take a more active role. Uh, Cortana actually had him reassigned because he was an asshole. Like she hacked the UNSC <laughs> system. <laughs> nice. Um, yeah. And then Dr. Halsey, who uh, isn't actually dead. Uh, rumors of her demise have been greatly exaggerated. Stanforth is also the one who promoted Captain Keys. Yes, that's probably true. Yeah. All right, that's it. Transfer the detonation codes to my comm. If anyone's taking this place out, it's gonna be me. Hey, thanks. Evac Bird's gonna meet us on the roof. Underground tunnels are filled with the damn thing. Finally, a good reason to blow this building up. Fuck! And lots of them! Is this the first time we've seen drones in this game? I think it is. I think so. In this yeah, game, I think yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, um... I don't remember... I don't think I mentioned it in my Covenant video way back when. But apparently one of the things when the Covenant invades a planet is the drones will just find a place to start building hives. Which is... Yeah. Gross. Because <laughs> they're, like, in every game, except for, I think, the start of Halo 2, they're, you just, anytime you're going in a tunnel, mm, yeah. there's drones. Yeah, absolutely. They're so yeah. annoying. Why do we, why do we hate them so much? I think it's, there's, like, no good strategy. You're just kind of spraying yeah. around. Yeah. Like, it doesn't feel satisfying when you take them out. And, like... You can headshot drones. They do have a weak point, but like, there's no way you can do it on purpose because they're just so finicky. Like, they fly around randomly, and yeah, like you say, there's no good way you can approach them other than spray bullets. I actually use them to practice my 360 no scopes. Mm. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can so, see that. Yeah. Quick, quick twitch reaction times. Oh hell yeah! Before they added the firing range, of course. <laughs> there's a firing range. Uh, in the new one, is there? An oh, there is. You're range. right. Yeah. There's weapon challenges. Huh. Yeah, I didn't uh, know that. Kind of like not as good as Valorant's, but yeah. Uh, before we leave, I just wanted to take a look here. Uh, you can actually see some of the like wreckage from the space elevator, which is cool. Uh, and then also this thing, a police pelican. <laughs> I don't with, even want to touch this one. With like yeah. the sirens and spotlights. Oh man. The militarization of uh, yeah. yeah, that is the dream. The threat comparison is too much. <laughs> Still ongoing. <laughs> Ooh, Mickey's a little pushy. Hey, you fellas know a gunnery sergeant Buck? Sure do. Patching him through. Glad you boys are safe and sound. Well, likewise, Gunny. You need a pickup? What was your offering? We're in the police HQ. Can you take us there? Affirmative. All right, get you up top. What? <laughs> this day ain't turning out so bad after all. What a oh, great he enjoyed mission. that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it sounds like our team is actually going to be almost all back together again. And no one's mentioned the rookie. No. Sadly not. Um, I also really like this music. I think this might be my favorite song in the game. I remember enjoying the soundtrack to this, but... Oh, it's so good. It's hard, hard after the hyped up Halo 2 soundtrack. <laughs> yeah, well, with all the the rock music and the... Breaking Benjamin. And... Yeah. yeah. Incubus. That's the other one. Oh, hell yeah. 
Um, I might actually let that music play while we do this outro, but uh, yeah, no, I that's I think probably my favorite mission in the game. It's cool. Uh, just because there's just so much stuff you can do, like anti-vehicle fighting, heavy weapons. Maybe it felt very... like a banshee. And I, I don't <laughs> we think don't know so. Yet. I don't think so. Uh, Seem very realistic. Uh, I think my favorite is still the zoo. Just yeah, like bright and open. Yes, the yeah. zoo is like it's the most interesting environment to be sure, but I, I find it kind of boring just because it's like, like an entirely vehicle section. Hmm. I I always liked driving though, so that's yeah. true. Yeah. You do. <laughs> Maybe that's. I like the I really like the rookie parts, just like wandering through the dark city. Mm-hmm. Like I think that's very cool. Especially because it's like, why is it so quiet after dark? But hey, we get to see. Yeah. Yeah, because the city's been completely, what, subjugated? Yeah. Well, like, it, just everywhere he goes is like, the fight has already happened and they moved on to the next mm, yeah. point of interest. So yeah, you're just like, that's why. Investigating wreckage. Yeah, chasing the storm, mm-hmm. as it oh. were. That's true. The resistance in an occupied city, I guess. Mm-hmm. But, but you're also a detective, and you can kill hunters by yourself. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, yeah. What hell of a rookie. <laughs> I'm not entirely convinced he's not a ghost that's trying to avenge himself. But hey. Oh, man. Now no, that would be a twist. Yeah. The, rookie, the rookie died in the drop, and he's a ghost. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, fuck, boys. I need to tweet at Bungie real quick. Oh, yeah, that's that's real good. All right, we'll, uh, we'll see if we can get the that in the game (laughs) for next episode (laughs) all right see you guys next time bye